Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a smart form PDF as an email attachment. And in the previous video, we send the smart form PDF to SAP user. And yes, I showed you in my inbox what is the transaction code to check the mail in your SAP inbox. SBWP. Yes, it is a SAP business workplace. Now, what we will do now, we will go for next way now. Now we will send the mail to external user. We will send the mail to outside SAP. Now, as a part of that, what I will do now, I will comment this portion which is for SAP user. And now I will uncomment the portion for internet user, internet email address. You can go both also, but for the best understanding, we are taking one at a time. Now I will check the syntax and activate. Now, before we go for or before we run this program, I will go for simple understanding and maximum people know this thing. Whenever you want to send a mail, now we want to send a mail outside SAP user, outside SAP user or internet user. From SAP, you want to send the mail to outside SAP. It means you will require what SMTP protocol. You all know whenever we want to send the mail, which protocol is required? Simple mail transfer protocol. Yes, in my current system, yes, my system do not have a SMTP protocol. It might be the case whenever you are practicing SMTP protocol is not there. So in that case, mail will not go to the user inbox. Mail will not go to the external user inbox. But from SAP end, we can check very, very clear that our program is fine or not. Our process is fine or not. Yes. SMTP protocol is not there. SMTP configuration is not there. That's why mail has not gone to the recipient inbox because that is outside SAP. But from SAP end is everything is fine from our logic perspective. We can check that part very, very easily. So in that case, we have a transaction code SOST, most, most important transaction code. Because if SMTP is not configured, the mail will not go to the recipient inbox. But if you want to check is everything is fine from your end or not, you can simply, simply check into through this particular transaction code. If I will go to SOST transaction code and if in this transaction code you are getting the entry whatever you send it means from your end everything is fine everything is fine now I will go for the program I will go for the program now in this program I will do one extra change because I'm sending the mail to outside SAP and SMTP is not configured. See what will happen in that case. Our set send immediately is active. It means what system will do. System will try to send the mail to out. System will try to send the mail to outside SAP user. But SMTP is not configured, but now we are saying it should send immediately. SMTP is not configured, 
So we will get the error in that case that SMTP is not configured. If you see, we are getting a red entry here. Anyways, I will show you both the parts. So it is clearly saying internal routing error. It is not able to route the mail because SMTP is not configured. Anyways, entry is in this transaction port from our end. It is perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Now, now if we are saying set send image set send immediately is inactive, it is inactive. Then in that case, what will happen? It will not try to send the mail immediately to recipient inbox. And have you seen? We are getting the entry into this waiting status. So in this case, yes, if you are going for set send immediately, system will check that it should go to the inbox, but we do not have SMTP protocol. So we will get the entry into error state. If we will set it to inactive, yes, we will get the entry into waiting state. Anyways, from our end, both are perfectly fine because from our end, entry should go to this particular transaction code only. Rest is basis person task. They should configure the SMTP protocol so that mail will go to the external user inbox. Now, what I will do? Firstly, I will set this to inactive. Now, whenever we are setting it to inactive, so mail will not go on immediate basis. It will be a frequency, yes, which is set by the basis person. So breakpoint is there. I will set the breakpoint and I will run. Suppose I am giving order number five and I am giving dynamic text as test. Now, we got the function module of the smart form done. Anyways, maximum is repetitive task. Now, we are getting OTF of the smart form. Now, we are converting OTF to PDF. And along with this, we are getting the binary file in which particular type extreme type if you see lv underscore file is extreme type now we are converting from extreme to binary so we got the binary table binary table now we are creating the send request the object is initial now the object is created. You can see object is created. Now to create the external internet address, we are going for this particular class. You can see hello external user is initial as of now. Now it will create. Now you can see external user created. The object is created. Now now we are adding this external user as a recipient. Previously, we added SAP user as a recipient. Now we are adding external user as a recipient. Now the object is created. So can we add the external user as a recipient? Yes, we are using the instance method. Done. So we added the external user. Now we are appending the data to this internal table, body of the mail. You know, dear sir, below is the attached PDF. Thanks and regards and my name. You can see we have four records in this internal table. It is already covered part in the previous video. That's why I'm just taking it as a faster pace. We are giving the title and body of the mail. 
you can see the object of document class is blank as of now. Now the object of document class is created. Now we are adding the attachment. Now we are calling the method add underscore attachment. It is the instance method. Can we call the instance method through the object? Yes. So we pass the subject of the attachment. We pass the attachment. Now we are doing the binding of both the classes using set document method. Now set send immediately is inactive. Inactive. It means SAP will not try to send the mail immediately to external user inbox because anyways SMTP is not configured. But I will show you in SOST transaction code. Now we are going for send send. And you can see LV result is blank as of now. If send is successful, we will get the value x. x means true. If it is true, we need to go for commit work. Yes, commit work is compulsory if you are sending the mail to external user. That. Now from our end, because anyways, SMTP protocol is not configured. So I cannot show you the mail in my inbox. I will show you in SOST transaction. You can see I got a mail now at this point of time itself. This is the latest. This is the latest. Okay, this is the latest. Now you can see if the entry is in SOST transaction code, everything is perfectly fine from your end. And what is the status as of now? Waiting, waiting. If I will simply display you and show you all the details, I will display. You will see all the things. This is our attachment. Yes, this is our attachment. Yes, we gave this mail title. But a subject of the mail, order details. Order number, we gave which order number? Five. And what is this? This is PDF. This is PDF. So you can see everything is fine. But SMTP protocol is not configured. So that's why I'm unable to show you in my inbox. But if the entry is in SOST transaction code, everything is perfectly, perfectly fine from your end. Now, suppose... I will set this send immediately to active. Then we will get the entry in error state, not in waiting state. You can see as of now, waiting is there, error is there. If I will show you this transaction code. If you are getting the entry in success state, if the status is in green color, then you can understand that SMTP is configured and mail went to external user inbox. Now I will go for immediate sending as X. Now whenever I will show you SOST, yes, we will get an error entry. I'm just suppose going for order number, suppose we'll go for three. Test. I'm sending. Now without debugging, I will show you that. Now just see, simple understanding. We said, try to send a mail, but the mail failed. Mail does not go to the inbox of the user. Just compare it to your real example. You send one mail and you gave and mail did not go to the other's inbox. 
Are you getting a delivery failure? Yes, you are getting a delivery failure. And it means in my inbox, firstly, I will get a delivery failure mail. And you all know how you can check your inbox through which transaction code? SBWP. So in SBWP, firstly, you will get a error mail, error mail. If I will go to SBWP, it is clearly saying in your inbox, there is a mail that document cannot be sent, cannot be sent. This is real world, real world itself. If you are sending a mail, if we set immediately to X, SAP try to send the mail, but SMTP is not configured. So mail did not go, but we received a delivery failure in our inbox. Yes. So this is the delivery failure that mail did not go. It is clearly saying cannot be sent. Now, if I will show you SOST transaction code, we will get a entry in the error state, error state. If I will show you SOST, you can see we have a entry in error state. If I will go for this particular entry in error state, if I will display, everything is here. Everything is here. Yes. But yes, why mail did not go? Because of SMTP protocol configuration. The rest, everything is good at all. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, yes, we are, we learned everything in the debugging mode, how to send a mail to external user or external recipient from SAP perspective, if your entry is in SOST transaction code, it means everything is perfectly fine from your end. Yes, but we require SMTP protocol if the entry should go to the external user inbox. Now, just simply, simply check SOST if you are getting the entry there everything is fine at your end. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.